right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Decaster Steb. I'm joined alongside Creatives, and we are kicking off game number five. Kai Bao on the Zai already got armor and a weapon to his name. Very isolated compared to where all of these other players are spawning, getting himself a lot of gold troves off the rip. Frostivus already with the purple armor scaled and gonna have a decent amount of money to be able to buy himself some nice items from the Rift Dealers, as we're going to see, JDG's verse as well, scaling up pretty evenly as BBE's Cam 1, purple armor, uh, blue weapon in hand on the other side, waiting in the wings. We're going to see him try and go for the parry here. JL's AS is going to end up bringing that ult out pretty early here. Kaibao on the Zai is going to try and send out a overhold charge and is going to end up getting aggressed on by JL's AS. Needs to get that damage off, and Kaibao doing an amazing job at keeping AS away, but JDG's verse coming in to try and aggress, and the Soul Bloom taken away by JDG's verse. AS, very low HP, almost oh. no left. Misses the Tessa charm, and now in full hot pursuit. Armor swap from JL's AS. Oh, man. I don't know how I feel about the Zai here, Seb. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it worked the first time he was playing, but it looks like nothing else has evolved there with the Zai coming out. I mean, dying off spawn out. Not a good game four off of it as well. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I want him to prove me wrong. I'm not a fan of the Zai, though, coming out. Big LMB focus there for Frostivus. Quickly interacts there with the Tesla ult onto Fong. Now Frostivus. It's going to continue to get aggressive with his ultimate popped out already. Nice damage there from Frost of his onto Fong. Fong not even trying to respond to hit the shield right now. Just completely running away. Doing a really good job. Make sure he does not get any of those TPs onto him. It looks like Frost is just going to cut noise for the time. There goes the first one. F misses there. Or the ult misses. The TP misses there for Frost of his. Overholding Fong now. Now he's going to get mass repair there for Frost of his. He's going to read the F. Comes in a little bit too early. He's going to use the F to back out. Uses it to try to double back in. Fong uses the other door there to try to cut the way. But does not manage to do so. Frost of his once again. Trying to maintain his game strong right now. Purple armor here for Frost of his. Two blocks for that purple armor. Fong now is going to go ahead and take a quick powder in. Frost of his is well, F caught in there for Frostivus. Continue applying the pressure onto Fong. And that's big damage. Big parry there for Fong. Big damage there for Fong onto Frostivus. And one parry off that purple dagger is enough damage there for Fong to take out Frostivus in the start of game number five. DRG is Fong, the dagger demon, able to get the parry with the gray dagger. Switch over for the parry punish onto the purple dagger. Getting parried himself again here. We are going to see Pace try and make a grapple combo play here. As Fong is going to do the exact same thing with the dual blades right back around. We're going to see him try and go for the Tessa charm. Pace into the blue armor swap here. Trying to replenish his HP to get a little bit of an advantage into the fight. We are going to see the F2 coming out from Pace. But the charged LMB here from DRG's Fong going to be able to deal a lot of damage. JT Space is going to end up using that ult to create some space and heal here. Fong is going to back off and go for the reset as well. Fong trying to send some dagger shots, or cannon shots, sorry, into the J Team's Pace face as Pace is going to end up backing off. No ult charge left now as we are going to see him get launched into the air. One, two on for Pace. Bringing the F2 out as well. Funk trying to make something happen with his ultimate is going to miss again Ooh. into the charge. LMB here. RMB, sorry, Ooh. as he's going to get parried. Funk barely alive here using that F ability to be able to keep him alive. Gets the charge RMB as well. Goes into an armor swap, but no armor available. Season armor up wow. top, but not enough as J Team's pace. Absolutely insane elimination for himself there. Wow, what a showing there from Pace. First against AS. AS already has that Uncle's Ultimate online against Verse. Loses a lot of HP. Half of the white health is online for AS. Verse with the health advantage right now. RB, RB makes there for AS. F called in there for the F1. 30% damage reduction and counting there for AS. Gonna try to create the space. Nice scale rush there for Versus the area RB as well for the extra damage. The Tesla Ultimate is going to connect onto AS. It looks like no interaction is gonna come into play. And the uppercut there for Verse to take out AS and Verse with a nice showing. Three eliminations at the start of game number five. 
Five showing up right now, but a nice showing there off the Tessa Juchi against Cam One. Cam One BBE still trying to find a fit in here for themselves. Looks like Cam One is trying to create the space. No, uh, yeah, he does have O. Does have O off the Justina Juchi. One O online here for Juchi. Looks like Action is now is going to move into the party off the. I think that's a oh, that's a shot yo there for Action. Still applying the pressure. LB Focus connects there off the staff from Cam One. Action trying to read his out. He's going to go ahead and invest the Shayo ultimate. Cam One's going to invest the ult as well. F caught in there from the Tessa to avoid the damage from that long range dash from the Justina ult there. And Action now still trying to get aggressive off this. He might just back up because the ult is already halfway gone. Cam One's going to go ahead and take a full reset for himself. And a mask, a mask is off here for Cam One. Like Future said, mask off. And he looks like he's trying to get active against Action right now. Massive bow shot there. Response. Dash connects as well. Lunch there. F called in. LB Prowl. That's what I'm talking about. There for the F2 for the Shayo. F there to stop that damage coming into play. Straight off the uppercut. Now Cam 1 in a 1v2 against both of these players right now. Massive head dinger there from the ball. Another bow shot connects, I believe. Action now creating the space perfectly. RB RB mixed there from the dual blades. And Cam 1 still stuck between both of these players. Looks like he might get ulted there by the Tessa pretty soon. F called in there for Juchi. Cam 1 still trying to create the space. Action 29% there for that ult to come online. Cam 1 trying to take a quick reset. Does manage to pop one. F called in there from the Justina. RB RB and Minx once again for the dual blades. Follow up as well for action. Cam 1 now trying to respond. Both shots still flying on in. Test ultimate now enchanted there onto two players. RB RB there. Oh, that was an RB focus off the Halberds. Juchi is not going to get it. Or oh, it looks like Cam 1 is going to get off of this. Oh my god. Action with a massive bow shot from downtown with a head dinger onto Cam 1 with max range there. That was disgusting there from action. I need to see the replay from his POV. That could have been the biggest curry that Sheesh. we have ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, crazy bow shot midair, able to come away with the kill and steal it away. As we are taking a look in the first round with Yang, it's going to be Wolves Kai Bao versus EWG's Arano. We're going to see the blue dagger putting Ooh. in absolute work as it looks like Kai Bao now is going to be taking a lot of damage. Switches over to that repeating crossbow to get a little bit of a better scale on the all great use of the scale uh, the tap dodge to dodge away from that tiger pounce there able to send the burn tick damage onto Arano. tap dodging backwards here doesn't want to get pounced on is going to end up getting pounced once but he is going to have that v2 ability coming out quickly using that f1 as well trying to get the burn damage off but he is going to get dodged and it, it, he's, it oh, really roll? comes down to who gets the prio here. And it looks like Ooh. it's going to go to Arano. Arano bringing it back around. And Wolves Kai Bao not able to make anything happen with the Xi ult in the realm of Yang. Everybody's got his number. They figured out the way to counter it. He's not able to get the hit confirms off to be able to come away with the victories in these realms. Arano coming away victorious. First kill on the board for him. A bit of a slower paced game than we usually see from Arano. But big advantage for him to get this first kill. Taking a little bit of pistol damage. Fong staying up top and holding his ground. It looks like Fong doesn't want to aggress too far onto Arano without taking too much damage. As we're going to see Frostimus as well. Three minutes and 45 Ooh. seconds on that Yang depletion for himself. It looks like he is going to try and go up against XCG's Wang Liang. Wang Liang trying to put some space in between the two of them. They're going to see that LMB come out. Dropping down is, oh my goodness, Frostimus with a huge parry. Wang Liang is going to end up sending that ultimate out. Ooh. Frostimus just schmoovin'. Oh my goodness, ultimate Ooh. comes out. Oh my goodness, Ooh. Frostimus is playing Ooh. this so well. Everything that Wang Liang does, he's got the answer to it. As we're going to see Pace coming in for the third party as well. My goodness. Alliance is Frostivus. Absolutely insane. Knocking it back. It's the charge RMB off. Frostivus doing some absolute insanities here as Wang Liang now is going to be taking so much damage. Frostivus, all he has oh. to do is hit the F2 and he comes away with it, but Paste is going to go. No damage. Parry. No damage on the parry punish. Frostivus now backing up. It's going to get caught by the oh. Octa Slash and Bowda's action going to come and steal the kill for Paste. Oh my god, Action with another kill still off that bow shot. Action now with that Shio oh, out on online pace as well. Trying to respond with the bow shots. TP does not connect off the first, misses the second there for pace as well. And Action now trying to stay up. Shield proc here. 
Waiting for the time to try to TP. Does not catch it. The counter there for the TP. Times three right there. And it's a showcase there off the TP's pace now. It's going to get hit off the uppercut. Now he's going to show with a massive pair route to action. Oh, follow up RB. Does it go for the RB? RB off of that to the follow up. But action just very low to the follow up RB. A pace coming in hot here with three eliminations on the board. Action gets eliminated out of game five. Frost of this as well. Top seven still in the game. Kai Bao on the Zai. Two minutes and three seconds to try to pick up a Soul Bloom here on the Zai. Zero eliminations here for Kai Bao. Still not showing up while the Zai is the pick here. I, I don't I don't know what he's cooking, but he must be cooking something for the double up the, the double up picks there off the Zai back to back, like his first week in the Pro League for 2024. We see it again this time around. But currently with zero eliminations on the board. J teams, uh, J team still has Remillion's birds might as well. Uh, JJH start with two eliminations. JDG's verse with five. JD teams pace with three. EWG Arana with one. DRG Fong with one. Still up as well in last place currently with eleven point six there for DRG's Fong. Bounty on JJH stars head there for Morano. J teams still, uh, I believe they're gonna get. I think it was like a Remillion's bird might. Showcasing there, JDG's verse now against AS, Fong as well, Juchi all showing up, focusing, I believe, the Akos once this ult runs out, then, and Tether does connect there onto AS, it's gonna go ahead and fast drop down, the damage coming to play there, RNB, F called in there for AS to try to create the space, it's gonna fast fall down, he is gonna be able to get the spacing now, grapple LMBs out, looks like no chase down there. Onto him. He is going to be able to stay up. Jump LMB does not connect there for Kai Bao. And this is a, you know, I think this is a Wolves thing right here. I mean, you know, CDY, Panda Man. I mean, Tarka in the field, you know, it's CDY, Panda Man. And if a Zai is out in the field, you know, it's Kai Bao. Big bow shot in the back end there onto Kai Bao. Pistol shot connects as well. Now it's a Rano swapping on Nobutai Gold Halberds off that pistol. Trying to find an opening. Kai Bao now is going to go, go ahead and pop this Zai ultimate. And now the champ is coming into play, and Kai Bao is not going to have any better run here. F caught into a void interaction, RB, every RB in the backside as well. Kai Bao now gets hit off the interact in the champ, man, and big damage, and Arano's going to fall. And the Zai is not the play here for Kai Bao. He falls with zero eliminations on the board. Arano with the pistol shot there to confirm the elimination on to Kai Bao. And that's what I'm saying, Seb. I don't know how I feel about the Zai. Yeah, the Zai definitely not showing out too well for Kai Bao, and it seems like these Wolves players always picking these off-meta heroes uh, at the start, and we're seeing them not perform too well, as JL's AS here is gonna go dangerously low, and just oh. like that, every single, almost every single Akos is been taken out of this game, as Serrano tried to come in for that third party there, and we did not see it happen, but we are seeing DRG's Fun getting dangerously low there, everyone trying to get him with those poison mushrooms here, as he is getting very low in HP, does still have that full armor though, is gonna try and scale away, is having a bit of trouble with the movement here, Finding back his footing, able to move around. It looks like nobody's going to be taking this Realm of Yang, though. As, uh, or we do see Pace and Star duking it out in the Realm of Yang. J-Team's Pace is going to be able to take away almost all of Star's armor, bringing it back around. We see the F2 come into play there, and the first time we've actually really seen it happen, but Star coming around, able to get the grapple extension off the LMB Bryo, and J-Team's Pace is going to fall. And that's the F2 coming into play. We we saw it happen, ladies and gentlemen. The the Akos F2 coming in clutch for JJH Star, picking him up his third elimination and a win in the realm of Yang. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back into the Morris Isle. We are seeing these players still starting to duke it out. EWD Zorano is going to be able to pick up that buff as well as JT's pace now. Four minutes to get a kill. Three minutes, 55 for pace off that Roma Yang, gold fan in hand. On the shot, yo. You have to wait and see how he goes to try to pick up a soul bloom. Arana playing the outskirts of the zone that is about to start spurning in a minute 45. Burst already moved on in, Juchi as well. Six players remain for game number five. Now, pace, trying to get some information off the bell. JDG's burst. Might be the one caught up here, I think. Get the information there onto Pace. Pace still trying to find a player. Looks like he does catch somebody. It's going to be Juchi. He is going to be the one getting aggressed on. F2 called in as well as the Tessa F there to avoid that F damage for that F2. And Pace still trying to find an opening. 
does not manage to find anything so far. The damage is not even there. The health is still up there. Arano now showing up. I'm going to try to go back to that full gold armor. Juchi backs up Arano as well. Everybody scatters from this area and Pace has not been able to find anything so far. Once again, it's going to be super unfortunate getting timed out. And I'm a little surprised that I don't think we've seen a timeout so far uh, for these games. So this might be one of the timeouts we see. We're going to have to wait and see. Juchi moves on in a little bit closer. So Pace might get the information here. Star as well is in the mix. So... It's just a matter of time when, once we see Valiant Channel is now picked up from Pace. He wants to get some information done or wants to get some information. Fong just playing the top of the tree there, waiting this out. Pace looks like he is going to just back up, trying to see if he can find anybody in the outskirts. But all these players moved on into Sunwing now. Looks like Pace is not going to be able to find anything. Nothing going towards his favor currently. All these players are still in the middle of Celestial versus getting aggressed on by Star and another player in the backside, Juchi. Now getting aggressed on by Pace. No capitalization off of this, though, still so far. Looks like it's going to be a ticking time bomb here for Pace. Nothing has been going his way cur currently for this. F called in. Test ultimate weave there from Pace. Looks like Juchi is going to vessel ult there to try to get the damage in. But looks like it's not going to go towards his favor as well. So Pace still trying to get active against this Tessa. One ult down for the Tessa. Using all the grapples in inventory, nine and counting there. Has not, be able, has not been able to catch the grapple stagger onto Juchi. Trying to catch a, a little quick reset here. F called in for both players once again, overholding Juchi. A minute 25, taking down very quickly in these moments. Juchi does drop. Oh, it gets a common. Oh, it gets a purple armor swap there. Back to full health. F2 called in from an aqua star in the top side to get some pressure onto Pace. And Pace is going to have to try to get a full reset now. Looks like nothing is going to happen here for Pace. I believe now it's a minute for Pace. Arano now moving on in. And it's just Pokets here. They're playing... They're playing keep away here for Pace. Cannon shots flying on in. Test ultimate connects onto Arano and Pace. And this might be the opportunity that Pace needs here to try to pick up elimination onto Arano. But enchantment connects there onto Pace. And the damage is going to start flying on in. He still has three blocks of that gold armor. It did not take a lot of damage. One, two off that scale rush. Uppercut for Pace. Does not connect off of it. And now it's just 40 seconds for Pace. It looks like he's just going to count his blessings and just back up now. Both shots from Juchi to continue to apply the pressure onto Pace. <laughs> Just flying in from everywhere. Fong as well has his eyes onto him. And they know if a player is getting this aggressive while the zone is still spreading, they know this player might have a uh, Yang depletion. And a lot of the tabs are being taken once these players fall in the realm of Yang. They see the characters that have that Yang or that lose in the realm of Yang. So, you know, they have an idea of who is the one that's going to be getting aggressive outside of the Yang once they fall. So that's all that's... You know, some extra to think about of how these players think of this. They always have that in the back of their minds, as well as how we see how quickly and how nicely they go for those armor swaps. But, you know, that's just that's just something that comes with the game and playing it at this high, high of a level. They know that, you know, a Shayo lost a Yang, so a Shayo is going to get aggressive. If we do see a Shayo getting super aggressive while these zones are moving on in, they had the Yang depletion timer. We saw that they were trying to get that last hit in to try to pick up the elimination, and Fong is going to full no commit way. inside He's the zone. He's going for the gold armor. He's going for the gold. Going armor. For the gold. Yeah. He is going to manage to get it too, and it's full. He doesn't even have to reset it. It's zone three, so he can stay inside the zone for a little bit more time and be completely safe, picking up all these resources. Great game here. Oh, Great gameplay here for Fong, calling out that gold armor quickly. And we got some aggression here on the tower near Sunwing. Arano on the gold pole sword versus as well in the backside, trying to back up. Juchi now getting aggressed on by Arano. V2 connects there for Arano onto Juchi. The damage comes into play. The Tesla ultimate avoided there from Arano. Looks like the Tesla ult did connect onto one player. Not sure who. It gets interacted though. It gets interacted. It does go away. Arano now getting aggressed on by both of these players. He's going to try to create this space. Nice movement there from Arano to make sure he stays up, making these players work for this elimination. He catches the ledge there into the scare rush. That was clean from Arano there to make sure he stays mobile. RB RB there from Juchi. He's going to go ahead and still trying to apply the pressure. Scare rushing up Arano. He is going to be able to continue to stay mobile. He's doing everything he can to make sure he doesn't get caught out. Gets caught in his corner though. He does not get no damage out, but Tessa ultimate missed there. Trying to catch that a movement error from Orano does not manage to do so. JJ Star against DRG Fong. Now he has that gold armor. You think he's able to win this here, Seb? 
Uh, DRG's Bong making a great play to go back in. J Team uh, Space said, if I can't have the gold armor, no one can. And DRG's Fong said, I'm going to take it either way, whether you like it or not. And JJ Star going to get a huge parry and is going to end up taking away that gold ban from Fong. Giving him a huge disadvantage, putting him on the back foot right now as JJH Star high aggression onto Fong right now. But Fong is the movement king, is going to be able to knock back Fong. JJH Star going for the ultimate right now. Interesting play here, and we see that grapple distance coming into play, able to aggress really hard on to DRG's Fong right now. And with a sliver of health oh. and the F2 coming in, Fong is going to go down. Star picking up the ultimate. Are picking up the gold armor and the kill there. Absolutely incredible play Beautiful. coming out there. As Arano, the other Akos in the lobby, it looks like it's going to be two Tessas and two Akos remaining. So the Tessas are going to try and get the Akos out. The Akos are going to try and get the Tessas out. It looks like Arano is the one at the most disadvantage right now, needing to heal up really fast right now otherwise they are going to get aggressed on by both tessas that are very close in proximity to him and it looks like juji has found arano is going to end up holding blue to try and just get out there scale rushing away does try and go for the reset here but jdg's burst with the one two three oh. knocking him into the storm here unexpected play coming from that one two three you don't see it very often but when it comes out and it gets you like that it's very 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 Punishing as Arano getting focused by both of these Tessas right now. No ultimate to be able to get out of this. And JDG's verse is going to come away with the kill. And Juchi here. They both got hit by a poison splash, what it looks to be. And uh, Juchi picking up his first elimination of... Or with one elimination, JDG's verse picking up his sixth elimination of the day. And now this is going to be very difficult. Oh, oh goodness, JDG's verse getting hit by the random Bane there. I thought that was almost a three hit. Uh, only one on to verse so far, able to get the reset back up and pot himself to safety. And Fun Plus Phoenix with the and JDG, the two Tesses remaining. JJH Star is going to need nothing short of a miracle to be able to come away with the victory here. He does have the weapon and armor advantage here with gold weapons and gold armors. So hopefully we can see a little bit happen from him here. He might need, he's going to start losing tick damage. It looks like he might have uh, eaten some bad mushrooms. He's going to go into the zone here. A little bit of an interesting play. Oh, hiding behind the rock. There we go. I see what you were trying to do. We let him cook, and he did find something very interesting. We are going to see him start to come back into the circle here. These players are going to try and hold on as long as they can. But if JDG Verse spots out JJH's star, he is going to start aggressing onto him as fast as possible, try and get his health down. He doesn't have ult up as well, but these Tesses both have their ultimates available. And so it looks like JDG's verse is going to be taking the MVP for this game, ladies and gentlemen. The star starting to get aggressed on here, trying to scale up around these trees to not engage too quickly. He knows if he engages, it's going to be a 2v1 right away. So he needs to keep distance as much as possible. He wants to wait as long as he can to get that ult back up. It's going to send in a shot or two of ranged with the bow on to JDG's verse. Did get that RMB prio off or just get one hit with the RMB. Trying to back away, using the Hong Sword for some great movement here as we are going to see Juchi trying to come in with a cheeky little shot from the fan. Isn't going to connect on that. The F2 also not going to connect from JJH's star. We are going to see him in this corner now. Fan almost reaching here as we are seeing star starting to take a little bit of cannon damage. Juchi knocking him back now. Both cannons coming out from these players and as one player oh. can it's oh no the poison damage so unfortunate jjh is star now forced to make something happen does have his ult online now but is taking so much damage this is gonna be it he gets parry but he is going to end up getting the tessa charm hit as well tries to scale rush into the sky but jdg's verse is going to come away with the seventh elimination fun plus phoenix is juchi trying to make something happen with the tessa ultimate but is unable to jdg's verse doing a great job at tap dodging that there we're going to see the charge rmb coming out charge lmb coming out sorry and verse going for the one two here going for the charge we're seeing the tessa charm come out jdg's Verse trying to hold that space here, using that grapple to be able to prevent him. And now the same thing back around. We're seeing the charm getting 
Tether getting set and broken right away. 1-2 coming out from the dagger into the charge RMB, LMB, sorry. Uh, Juchi trying to make something happen with the dagger. Goes up, is able to get the char jumping LMBs. Verse trying to make something happen with the bow as well. And he gets the bow shot to win the game on 811 Nations, ladies and gentlemen.